Argentina is well known for the pedigree of its boxers, and in the past few years, the country is celebrating victories for a number of world champions. Less well known is that Argentina boasts more women's world champions than any other. CCTV's Joel Richards sends this report, report from Buenos Aires. Soledad Matisse is from a family of boxers. Her brother, Lucas Matisse, is one of the top fighters in the world. Her husband, helping her prepare here, is a former boxer. And her brother-in-law, in the red jacket and part of her team, is the legendary fighter Omar Narvaez. But Soledad Matisse is also a world champion in her own right. I have three daughters. I started boxing after I had my children. I went to the gym to lose weight. They put some gloves on me and I started hitting the bags. Why not give it a go? Matisse recently became double world featherweight champion. She's a member of boxing's elite. And according to the Women's International Boxing Association, Argentina has the most women's world champions. Women's boxing is growing bigger and bigger. There are good fighters are coming through. We have more world champions now, and it's watched more and more. Osvaldo Rivero manages many of Argentina's most successful boxers, including Matisse. Esto... This is the sport that allows you to beat the society that you live in. They all start low down, and this is the only way out. Beneath this busy station in Buenos Aires, Nicole Morales trains every day of the week. The 18-year-old says her friends have gotten used to the idea of her competing, and her family hopes she can earn a living from the sport. I think I have a chance to make it in boxing. I would like to. If you like something, you make the sacrifice. And while I can do that, and while family support me, I will do it. Argentine boxers face many obstacles in reaching the very top. The, the main problem in Argentina is the lack of good payment, the lack of good food, the lack of uh, proper scientific training. But it's the level of competition here that produces so many top-class fighters. Well, it's nights like this at the Argentina Boxing Federation where amateur fighters gain experience before turning professional. Morales must wait until she turns 20 to go professional. She's looking for sponsorship to help her focus on boxing. Argentina may not have world-class resources, but it boasts world-class fighters in men's boxing and increasingly in women's boxing too. Joel Richards, CCTV, Buenos Aires.